Hi, welcome. Today, I would like to share with you how you can use Sales Navigator, the pros and the cons of the platform. As an ex-LinkedIn employee, I'll be sharing my best tips with you. Let's get started. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome. In this channel, I share career tips, LinkedIn best practices, other social media best practices, and much more. Today, I would like to share with you how you can use Sales Navigator. Before I start talking about the pros and the cons, I just wanna tell you the difference between the actual LinkedIn and LinkedIn Sales Navigator, so you can decide whether you want their, this premium membership or not. So, first of all, the main difference of the LinkedIn Sales Navigator is if you are using LinkedIn to generate like leads, reaching out to other people and using the platform more effectively, I think LinkedIn Sales Navigator is one of the best tools in the market, especially if you're in the B2B space and especially if you're a salesperson. What I wanna share with you is in regular LinkedIn, the way that you can actually find the people are you're simply searching them with the search bar and you're just like trying to find the people by just, if, potentially you need to know their names, like their first and the last names. But if you wanna do more custom research, let's say you are trying to find somebody else in certain category, a certain industry, and only certain level of management roles or C-level roles, LinkedIn Sales Navigators actually make your life easier to find these people because like you don't need to know these people's names um, and especially if you don't have a premium membership of LinkedIn for your personal profile, you can view up to certain like amount of the people, but in LinkedIn Sales Navigator, almost all people's profiles are potentially open for you. And you can actually save their profiles and you can create custom messages. What I wanna share with you is, in LinkedIn Sales Navigator, there are three different options that you can choose from. And I'll tell you what these are. The first one is the professional one. It's more basic one. It's not that expensive. Like right now it's around like 79 to $80 range. But by the time you're watching this video, this might change. But if you're like a only one or two person, like, a, like I know maybe like five or 10 people in your organization and you don't want to get the enterprise level, which I'm going to talk about later in the video, you can get the professional version. So the way it helps you is like when you're custom researching the people, you can save them as leads and you can only use the search results for your personal profile. So it's hard to export it to like a CRM that you are using for your company if you really want to export the data to your CRM. So in addition to that, you can create alerts for your search. So I'll give you an example. Let's say you are using the this professional version, the first version for your LinkedIn profile. The way that you can do is you can save them as leads. Let's say I'm following you and I choose you as one of my leads and in the future I'm planning to reach out to you. The way that I can just like save you as my lead when you post something else, I can get a notification. Let's say you are writing an article uh, but we are not connected on LinkedIn and I'll get a notification on LinkedIn saying that you posted something so I can actually read about that article. And maybe when I'm reaching out to you as an email through LinkedIn, I can mention about this article to you and then maybe I can just pick up a conversation with you on a business topic that I'm also very interested in connecting with you. So saving as leads, but it keeps within the LinkedIn Sales Navigator platform. So it's a little hard to extract from the LinkedIn platform to the CRM platform. Uh, I think it's still very useful. I have been using it for quite a long time when I was especially in LinkedIn. So it's a really nice premium feature. If you are thinking which section to choose, like between professional, team, and enterprise, again, if you're not a big corporation, choosing the professional version would be better idea to go with. The second one is the team version. This is really good because like if you're an organization like 20 to 50 people like in your organization and you're all using the LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can actually create like a team link. The way that it works is like, let's say I'm trying to connect with you and I see like a common team connection. So that's, this is how we're going to see it. So I'm just going to put it on the screen so you can actually see it. And in this one, I, when I see like there's a team connection, I can actually reach out to my other team member and say that, hey, so-and-so, do you know this XYZ person? And if that person actually, I'm seeing that there's a connection, I can ask him or her to warm introduce me to you. So this way, it's not like a cold outreach. This is one of like a main differences between professional and team because there's like a team connection you can actually see. 
It's a little bit more expensive because multiple team members are using that. But if you're like a bigger organization and you don't want to pay like a one-off professional memberships to LinkedIn because it's going to cost you more, then you can go with the team option of the sales navigator. The last one. So enterprise version is like, it's from the name. It's a really big version. And basically it's like a big corporations are using that. Let's say you have hundreds of like salespeople or thousands of salespeople are using LinkedIn, LinkedIn sales navigator. It actually doesn't make sense to get the professional account, the first or the, the second one, the team account, because it's going to be more expensive. The enterprise account version of the sales navigator includes all the one and the second version of the um, options of sales navigator. So if you are like a big corporation, you can do that. One of the biggest differences between all of them are there's a CRM integration in the enterprise account and more and more options. So I'm going to link them down below so you can actually see the exact uh, differences between all these like three if you really want to like list out and see which one uh, fits best for you and LinkedIn update this list all the time so you can actually like literally see like what are the main differences and which one would work the best for you. One of the best things that I really like about the sales navigator is when you are searching your leads you can actually customize them by company, their job titles and you can create like a very custom lead list. So this way when you are just trying to reach out to people and if you don't have any connections like sales Navigator is one of the best tools. So you can even just like um, filter them by the schools they, gra they graduated. Maybe you and that other person, you're in the same alumni and you can just like reach out to them by just like using the school connection or maybe a team connection. So when you are searching on regular LinkedIn, again, you have limitations, especially if you don't have a premium membership, but in LinkedIn Sales Navigator either is like a very robust search engine within the LinkedIn platform for B2B space. So I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you and I'll show you how I'm using Sales Navigator and how you can use Sales Navigator as well. So in this screen that you're going to see is basically when I come in here, there's like a home section, there's account section that I'm creating the accounts. Maybe these are the accounts that I'm trying to sell to as a salesperson and I can collect the leads like in person and there's an inbox because the regular inbox of LinkedIn and LinkedIn sales navigator inbox are totally separate from each other. When you message somebody else on the LinkedIn sales navigator, you're going to get the message from your LinkedIn sales navigator inbox. So all the notifications are gathered under this one. So when I come in here, I can, if I'm using the enterprise version, so I can actually like save it as a CSV file and I, I can upload to my CRM. So I can actually report to my manager who I'm in touch with and who am I in uh, connection with. And in here, as you can see, like I can sort by date and I have like multiple filters in here. The advanced search is basically, it includes seniority, function, company size, and much more. And in the company search, what I can do in here is like, I can identify the right companies by name, geography, industry, and much more. I think the best part of the LinkedIn Sales Navigator is like, the LinkedIn Sales Navigator helps you to discover the right people with the suggestions customized for you. Let's say um, you are looking for like a certain lead and the LinkedIn Sales Navigator can actually recommend you that, oh, like this person also like in this division and they're in a similar, similar title. So it makes your job easier to find the right person, the right decision maker, and you can save them as lead. As I mentioned, like when you save them as lead, when, you're, when they are posting something and when they're engaged engaging with like certain content or articles, you will get a notification and you can spark up a conversation like that. So let's talk about the pros and the cons. LinkedIn Sales Navigator is like, it's easy to use. It's an amazing search uh, platform for the B2B space within the LinkedIn. It's easy to save like leads and it's easy to email to these people that you're trying to reach. You can um, integrate the data with your own CRM in your organization. I think the downsides are it's a very expensive platform and um, if you are in between like should you use like a LinkedIn premium membership and LinkedIn sales navigator I actually would vote for going with the LinkedIn sales navigator because like the search is more customized and like saving the leads are actually like it's important for people it's basically it's an amazing tool to keep track of your leads existing relationships stay up to date with the accounts that you're following and leads that you are following and researching the prospects so it's an amazing tool that you can actually use and simply to summarize real-time sales updates and there are four actual five important points I'm just gonna list this out by screen sharing my section so the lead updates 
the shares, the company updates, and I can see when I'm following a lead, are they featured in the news? So I make sure like I'm um, in the know of, and I know that my leads are being featured in the news, so I can actually read out their interviews and their articles as well. And I can also see and discover potential leads. So again, it's a expensive tool, but it's worth investing to be honest. So the other one that I wanna to mention to you is, if you are an organization and if you have multiple salespeople are using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, there is a social selling index within the LinkedIn platform. So this can be integrated to the marketing people who are managing this platform. What I mean by that is you can see in here, there's a little chart and in here it shows like a 77 out of 100. And if you're engaging with the LinkedIn platform, posting more content and engaging with the people, liking, sharing and creating all these social actions, your social selling index number is going to go up. And as you know, if you're doing some social selling uh, within social media, this number is really important. And if you have like an enterprise account, your marketing team can actually see which salespeople are doing like a better social indexing. And especially if you are integrating your LinkedIn Sales Navigator with the LinkedIn Elevator, which is a totally different platform, and I have a totally video, different video about that. If you integrate them together, then you can actually measure your content strategy and which content works best that for your salespeople and it's helping them to reach out to the leads. So I'll give you like a, it's a totally different topic, but I just want to like highlight that because I know that most of the people, when they are using LinkedIn Sales Navigator, they also prefer to use LinkedIn Elevator as well. The difference between the platforms are LinkedIn Elevator is more like a content marketing strategy. Because like when you want your salespeople to like post content to the platform, as a marketing person, you want to give them enough content to post. So rather than just like taking one of the links from your blog article, maybe you can actually create that more uh, content. So this way, when they're posting more, their social selling index is gonna go high. So that's why LinkedIn Elevator platform, again, it's a totally different platform. If you are really serious about LinkedIn Sales Navigator, and if you wanna buy an enterprise level account, I highly recommend you to, to take a look at the LinkedIn Elevator accounts for LinkedIn, so you can actually merge them together. To summarize, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is an amazing tool for your sales team, and it will help them to find leads, potential leads, reach out to them, and it can really help them in their sales cycle. LinkedIn Elevator tool can help your marketing team to support the sales team because you can upload more content and when salespeople are trying to decide what to post to LinkedIn, they can go to LinkedIn Elevator platform, they can pull a couple of the content and they can reshare on their platforms. So rather than just posting more content on your company pages, basically you can ask your sales team to post more content and help your company page in LinkedIn to distribute their content even more. This is pretty much it. Again, LinkedIn Sales Navigator is um, an amazing tool for say, or your sales team to engage with the content, engage with the leads, find potential leads, and it will really help your marketing team to reach out to more and more content. And it will really help your marketing team to reach out to more and more prospects. If you wanna know more about LinkedIn optimizations for company branding or for personal branding, I have more videos on my channel and I go very deep dive on each of the platform, each of the sections, and different perspectives and tips and the tricks of LinkedIn as an LinkedIn employee. If you want to know more, don't forget to check out my other videos. I look forward to seeing you on my next video next week. Bye for now.